Hello guys, here it's Emmanuel from Dice Tug, and today we are going to talk about the games that I played in the month of April. Uh, besides the games that I played in the month of April, April was quite cool for me uh, because of the revelation of the logo. Uh, the beginning of the month I had no idea that by the end uh, of the month of April I would be able to present the new logo. It went super fast, again due to Ricardo, which I want to thank again. And it's been awesome. I've been able to work on the thumbnails. I hope that you guys like the look of the new thumbnails and yeah, more things will come. But let's talk about the games. The games that I played this month, there were six. Some of them I played solo, others I played with my gaming group. And I enjoyed all of them. There's none of the games that are here that I did enjoy. Some of them it was a revisit, others were favorites. And yeah, I was, uh, it was, those were very cool games to, to, to play. So let's just jump right in. And the first one I want to talk about is a revisit uh, of a game that I played it before and I was like, eh, that's it. Uh, I felt that it was, since I come from video games, I felt that this game was like just, you know, when you play an RPG and you can create your character and then the creation of the character can take some time because if you want to be perfectionist, you'll take some time in that part. But then it's when the game starts, you know, after the creation. And this game is just the creation of that character, which is role player. And the first time I played, I was like, that's it. I mean, that's, that's the game. I, f I missed the part of, okay, I created my character, let's go. And yes, I know guys, there's roleplay adventures and there is other expansions for roleplayer that give you that, that feeling, but yeah, that's a game that I was expecting to be already complete. So, but I revisit because I'm saying bye to some of my games, not some of them, not because I dislike them, but more will come. Uh, Kickstarters are arriving and the space is limited and this one was on the list. So. I pick a bunch of games that uh, are in the list to go out of my collection. I'll play them again and if I like them, uh, I keep. If I don't like them, they will be for the selling. This one is staying and basically the way it works, you choose a character and basically the game is building up the different uh, specs of that character. The, the attack, uh, defense, there's a bunch of them, I don't know them all by heart. But that's building the, the character, is building the, is the is game. And you might ask, what game is in there? Well, there's some combinations of dice that you, you need to be able to, to do in order to get more victory points. And so that's, that's actually the game. It's to try to be able to put a certain amount of uh, people, the, the, the dots of the dice in a certain area and be able to fulfill the... I, don't, I cannot call them contracts because they are not contracts, but the goals for your character, uh, because it might be, long, it might be uh, from some class, like uh, uh, range, warrior, I don't know if those are the classes from the game, I don't recall them. Uh, it's just for you to understand that I didn't pay attention really to the, th to the theme. Uh, it was more for me, I call them contracts. You, I see the dice, you need to put a, bl a blue die on the third position in the third row, a white die in the first position of the first row, and you need to try to achieve that goal. If you don't achieve, you don't lose anyth anything, but you also don't make extra points. And I had fun! Uh, I think this is like a medium family game. Uh, the rules are very straightforward. Uh, and yeah, it's, if, you, if you don't like dices, you will not enjoy this game, but I love dices. And so uh, it's, it's going to stay. For now, it's going to stay. This was Role Player, designed by Keith Mateika. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And it's published by Thunderworks Games. So, Role Player. The second game that I played was a game that was offered by my girlfriend uh, in, on Christmas. And it's a game that I wanted to put already on the table for some time. I didn't want to play it solo, I wanted to play it first with my group of friends, but the opportunity didn't uh, appear. So I tried, I simulated the game at two players, didn't play it solo. But yeah, I wish I, I, I enjoyed this game more. Um, and 
there's nothing wrong with the game. The game is pretty. The game uh, mechanics are good. It actually reminded me a little bit of Lacrimosa, but this game came before Lacrimosa, so it's actually Lacrimosa reminds me a little bit of Newton. But I played Newton after Lacrimosa, and yeah, that's why I just said it. It's Newton. And I mean, this game, everything is pretty about this game. Uh, you're traveling, you are fulfilling requests, but it's just that the board where you need to to place those those books to fill those lines I don't know man I, I was expecting to be able to do more on that you know like to be able to fulfill more and it just seems that you are not supposed to be able to almost fulfill those squares and and that was a bit left a little bit of bad taste in my mouth because I was really like excited to fill up and find a way to, to do um, the, the, the to have the right cards to play the right cards to be able to put the tiles on the right spots on those lines and, and in the end that's not really the the main goal or it's not the main goal but it, you just you can do just a little bit and, and I, I don't know I, I wanted to do a little bit more on that on that board Everything that is re regarding the, the traveling and so on, it was, it was fine, I didn't have any problem with that. But that board of placing the tiles, I wanted to be able to achieve more in that and it was not the case. And, and I don't mind that sometimes the game doesn't allow you to do everything that you want. It happens, like for example pra with Praga, uh, it's, you need to, be, to really focus on two or uh, on one or two things to do during the game. Same with Woodcraft, uh, and I don't mind. But here it felt to me less nat natural. I, I really could not do follow. If I wanted to achieve a point just following that path, it seemed to me that it was going to be really hard uh, and really difficult to achieve. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give it another try probably. Um, and my girlfriend will kill me if I sell it. Uh, so probably I'll keep it in my collection. Otherwise. Uh, this channel stops, but yeah, I don't know, just left a bit of bad taste in my mouth. Third game, it's a game that I discovered uh, in Lediacon, um, and then I bought, I bought it immediately uh, last uh, in on March, la, last month. And it's a game that as soon as I uh, got it at home, I played it solo, then I played it with my daughter, then I played it with my daughter and my girlfriend, and I won in all the games. The solo variant is very good, so you, I, I strongly suggest go ahead and, and play it because this works really good uh, solo. Uh, and it's from Rouge. The only problem I have with this, I already made a video about this, it's like this one, you have this one, you have this one, and then they had an amazing idea of putting it the other way around, which to the day, I don't understand. But this is a great game. I don't have yet any of the expansions. And I played it with my daughter that is five years old, explaining the rules. Does she understand completely what is the goal? No, she just gets the cards. She looks at the cards, she chooses the one that is the highest. She plays it and she advances. And she almost won. Of course, we didn't play the, 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 the tracks that go up and down. Uh, it was the ones that were uh, straight, but she she was almost able to win. And yeah, basically her, she had no strategy. While I had strategy, I always tried to keep it balanced, keep the highest cards maybe for the end. She was just like getting, she was looking, oh, this one is higher than this one, I play this one. And she was always skipping the number twos. And she was getting there, so it, it shows uh, that you don't really need to have a strategy, uh, at least on the, on the flat uh, track. And we had loads of fun. Of course, that she cried when I won, but sometimes you need to teach him how hard life can be, right? So The fourth game that I played was a favorite of mine that was there in the shelf already for a year. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll play it. It's just that to play it solo, and I didn't play it solo, I simulated a two-player game. But it's just so much to set up. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I, I always love to play this game and it's Imperial Steam. I love this game. It still uh, holds up uh, after a year. Uh, what can I say? For now, 
Uh, it's one of my favorite train games of all time. It's on my top 10 list. And yeah, I love it. Um, there's not much I can say. The, the goal of the game is to build a track between one of... One's, look, I don't know the towns, okay? It's to build a track from one city to the other. The first player that does it, the end, the game, the end game triggers, and the one that scores more points wins. One of the things that I love about this game is the evolution of the workers. You see, you have three levels. You have level one, level two, level three. You, and every end of turn, the workers, they evolve a level, which allows you to build a bigger, uh, a more costly track. And if you want to use a, a worker, you have a placement. These are, this is where your workers are. You move them up. And in that turn, after the, at the end of the turn, those workers that are up do not evolve to the next level. They come down and they stay there. And I really like that because it really gives you like this thing of, ah, if I use now a worker to build a track that costs not a lot, but at, le at least allows me to move forward, uh, you'll be jeopardizing the fact that he might you might increase three workers in a row to the next level and be able to build a track that costs like nine. And yeah, that, that is the one, one of my favorite things about the game. It's, it's, it's the workers. I also really like how fast you want to, to tackle those factories because the, the, if you're the first to, to get one factory of a particular good, that factory will give you a lot of money. While the less factories that is still available, the less money you'll get. And money is king on this game. You want to have a lot of money. You want to be able to buy because otherwise you'll be spending your, your turn on get, doing the action of getting money. And you don't even get a lot of money, you get like 10. Uh, and that's not a lot, trust me. So you want to be able to build some kind of, of, of engine that gives you uh, a lot of money for you to spend and build and, and so on. So, I mean, I play this game already sometimes and it's, 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 it's advanced, I would say. It, it's not a medium family game. This, this has still some... Not that, not that the rules are difficult, but you really need to think on what you're doing. Can happen at certain count player that you uh, get 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 left behind. You know, uh, I think it happens more often at four players, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't felt it last time I played at four players because I was almost winning. But I saw on the internet that it can happen. But really like it. I cannot wait for them to release an expansion of Solo. Please, please release an expansion for me to be able to play Solo. I think they are working on it. It's just that Capstone, Cap, Capstone Games needs to do their magic for some reason. But I saw a rumor somewhere. So that's it. That's my number four. Uh, and that's Imperial Steam. Number six. Number six is a game that I bought at LadyAcon. I made a series of three videos recently on YouTube. Uh, how to uh, the unboxing, how to set up, and how to play. Uh, and the game is Mosteiro. Uh, this is uh, published by Pythagoras, designed by Roland Costa. And yeah, it's about building a, a monastery. That's it. <laughs> and again, it has dices, which I love. And uh, there's a particularity with the dices that is you have the masters and you have the workers. The masters are bigger dices, the workers are smaller dices and you have uh, priority. So the master with number two has priority on the worker with number two, and the, master and the worker with number one will be in front of the master of number two. Uh, it's, go check the video if you want to understand a little bit more. Uh, there's nothing complex about this game. The rules are quite straightforward. Uh, didn't find them uh, hard at all. And you have different areas on the board. You have the forest and agricultural fields. You have the village. You have the quarry. You have the construction area. And you have the, the, the church, not the church, the, 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 what do you call it? The windows, you know, like those special windows. Uh, and then you need to be able to get some goods to be able to build 
uh, a certain part of the monastery and you advance uh, on the construction like that. Uh, really like it, I played it with uh, four players, some were not a, a big fan of the luck factor of the dice, I don't mind. And yeah, if you want to know a bit more about this, this game, you can go check my, my three videos that I did on it. I think it will be enough for you to understand how this game works. Uh, and that was my number fifth, uh, Mosteiro. And my number six was my favorite game uh, of this month. It was another game that I played together with my uh, group. And it was a game that I bought secondhand. Yes. I'm leaving a little bit behind the, the whole thing of uh, Kickstarter and GameFound. Uh, I do participate on some of them and sometimes I do a pledge of one dollar to see what happens. <sighs> but I, I'm getting tired. And so I turn myself to uh, secondhand games. This one is... I cannot... I, I, I don't understand uh, how I was able to get this game for the price that I paid. But this... Nowadays, if this game was released, it would be worth way more. And the game is Signori. Uh, we had a blast. Honestly, we had a blast. We were laughing a lot. I made a video on TikTok and Instagram about how weird it is to play this game on a public location because we were saying very weird things like, I need another wife. Uh, I need a, to, to have this woman pregnant. Uh, I mean... It was, it was really, really cool. And in Signori, I mean, they, they use nice words uh, about what you're doing. Actually, you are a mafia uh, of that time, you know. I don't know when this happens, but it's like... Yeah, it doesn't say, but it, it's, it's, it, it reminds of mafia, okay? And you, the goal is to build the influence of your family and to grow your family. So that's why you need to marry your, your, your family members and get... Uh, wives for them and you can even have kids and those kids might be women might be men if they are men they will probably be more focused on going for politics uh, army and so on and if they are women well they will get pregnant that's it <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, that's that's how that's how, that's how it was so. but uh, I really enjoyed the game uh, like for each um, each player as a player board and where you have the actions so you have uh, the dice are rolled in the beginning they are placed on the different uh, type of uh, on the different areas of the board where you can go and fetch those different dice to do a certain action and besides doing the certain action you can buy helpers and buying helpers allows you that next time you do a certain action you are going to also do a smaller action triggered by the helper and so you can make really a, a lot of combos here we were completely destroyed by Etienne uh, the designer of uh, Bruxelles 1893 uh, the guy started uh, very quiet and very slow and in, uh, we were destroyed uh, there's, n there's no other word it was like it was yeah we were destroyed but love the game i really want to play it again because i really like that uh combo fest uh, that we had here so guys that was it about the games i didn't play any video game unless we count uh, disney dream valley where i'm grinding things for my daughter to be able to purchase the next day all the things that she wants uh, I didn't really play any PS5 this month. It was very busy. I did some videos uh, for YouTube that also took me a lot of time. And yeah, I didn't really play any uh, digital form game. Nonetheless, I started watching a new TV series that was uh, Battlestar Galactica. And uh, that was recommended by a lot of people. And uh, it's it got me... And, But I'm loving it. I really... It didn't age well, okay? The, effect, the, the, the visual effects are not the best. But the lore and the, and the scenario and the character building and so on are really good. And I think that covers up the fact that the visual effects didn't age well. And I'm really, really enjoying. I just finished first season and I'm ready to start the second one. So if you didn't watch it, 
suck up a little bit the visual effects because I guarantee you that uh, it's, it's going to be worth. Uh, and that was it. That was my month of April. Uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, well, let's see you in my next video. See you guys. Have a nice one.